Hey YouTube, we're here with the uh, Delta Ray. I haven't flown it forever, but I had some comments on it, so I was going to film a new video. 1800 milliamp 2S Nanotech 25-50C in series. XT60 connectors. I do two so that I can balance the plane out a little bit better for more appropriate CG. If you decide to do uh, series adapters and stuff, just be real careful um, that you don't catch stuff on fire. <laughs> This plane is kind of a handful to fly. It's a really cool plane, I gotta admit. It's it's. I learned so much doing stuff with airplanes on this plane. Throttle cuts on. You gotta be really careful. I have differential thrust on these. You can hear the four chimes for the 4S, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's been a little bit since I flew it, so I'm struggling a little bit to remember how to stuff all the wires so that it all fits. But. Um, if you haven't already seen um, my videos and stuff, this plane has steerable nose gear, rudder, retracts, two brushless motors, 30 amp ESCs. These brushless motors are Hobby King Donkey style, 1550 kV ST2204s. Very, very heavy retracts. Metal trunnion, way too heavy, don't use them. Steerable nose gear, having some problems with that, getting a little bit stuck, so. Anyway, uh, enjoy guys. Okay, here we go guys. Oh, and then spoiler ons, and then lighting. So there's like everything on this plane. Throttle cuts off, here we go. Gear up, flaps off. It's been a while since I've flown, flown this plane, guys. As you can see, it's pretty fast compared to what you're used to with the Delta Ray. Be honest with you on this plane really cool plane but just uh i made it way too heavy guys with all the crap it's still fun to watch it's still fun to fly but it's a little on the scary side because it's heavy it takes a lot to pull up on it got all the lights and stuff it's pretty cool i'm gonna walk over here get better vantage And if you guys have ever flown the Delta Ray, its stall tendency is very strange, especially when you make it really heavy like this. The other thing is, you don't need a rudder on this plane because look what the rudder does, it just rolls it. You might as well just stick with the ailerons. If you're trying to roll, use ailerons, don't use a rudder. Anyway, I'm gonna take a landing. Stop feeling it. I'm gonna go to the main landing strip on. Okay. If you wanna get in position, I'm gonna talk to these guys, make sure they're not gone. ridiculously strong but as you can see from back in the days when there was safe on this plane throttle cuts on tested this thing still has a bouncy wounce tendency and uh, because of that very reason I have broken the retracts so many times I did not actually break the retracts that's just the way they look because they're crappy and look how long 
it's just like <laughs> it's funny you can land with the gear down or excuse me with the gear up because you almost have prop clearance but if the props stop you can still land it like that and it'll go down the road and it'll lift itself up off the ground like in a simulator so anyway thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe